Hey, what's up with you guys? Um, so today I want to talk to you about something slightly different. Typically we talk about Uniswap, DeFi, how to uh, whatever invest and manage the liquidity via Uniswap. Today I wanted to point your attention to one inch dot exchange, which is uh, essentially a smart contract built on top of Uniswap and other decentralized exchanges such as uh, Kyber and Bancor and so on and so forth. So what they do is a slightly different model and I want to show you how that works. Now before before jumping in, as usual, you know, if you're interested in the world of Uniswap and want to try and see what, what pools are giving the best yield as well as track your investment once you have liquidity in, check out uniswapri.com. And if you like in general DeFi content and related to exchanges and so on, consider subscribing to, to the channel. Now, before, um, you know, let's say, let's just jump in, just run, jump right in. So what I wanted to um, show you today is one inch dot exchange. The reason I wanted to uh, show it to you right now is because they just recently announced that they partner up with Chainlink, which is a decentralized uh, on-chain price oracle uh, for their um, price feeds uh, to the US dollars, which I thought it was pretty neat. I might consider actually doing a video dedicated to Chainlink because it's a, I, I find it a very neat technology itself. Um, and uh, essentially, let's let's see how that works. So it's not specifically for you as liquidity providers and investors. So it's not like really an opportunity to invest. But as you may provide liquidity here and there or invest in Uniswap or Compound, you may find yourself in a situation where you need to swap Ethereum for a token or two pair of tokens. Now, if you uh, choose one inch that exchange instead of you know, going directly to an exchange, essentially what happened to your order, it will be split into different micro orders uh, across multiple exchanges. And that would essentially reduce the slippage that you get and so improve the price, essentially. This will come potentially to uh, at the expense of the gas that you use. So the contrast, smart contrast, it will use technically more gas than only if you're using one exchange, but it will save on the price. And so if you're essentially, uh, you know, there is a trade-off, you know, if, if you're swapping maybe $20 worth of liquidity, it may not be worth, but if you're swapping, I don't know, uh, $500, $1,000 is typically worth checking, um, you know, one of these protocols built on top of the exchanges. Now, I, I did, and I did just an example for you guys. So I came here to um, one inch that exchange, I essentially, um, you know, swapped 0.2 Ethereum, which right now is worth about $33. I selected a number of exchanges to, uh, you know, include in the uh, in the routing, and then I clicked on uh, swap uh, swap now. And now th that sort of generated a, a transaction, we, which we can see right here, and I want to comment it with you. So essentially, what I what the my wallet here uh, did, it interacted with the one in exchange uh, smart contract. And then the uh, the ether so initially were sent to a, and were converted in wrapped ether, and from there it was you can see here it's a it's the number of small um, you know smart contract transaction each one to one of the different probably exchanges or subdivided in a way that sort of makes sense from a price perspective. Now I want to point you here that if you look at the gas exchange, the gas actually consumed is 180 thousand unit of gas, which Per se, I mean, it depends which uh, it depends which um, um, decentralized exchange you consider. So, for example, to give you context, like Uniswap would probably use it for a transaction like this, which is Ethereum to a token, probably between fifty and seventy thousand units of gas. So here, you essentially used more than essentially three times uh, that quantity. So uh, that is per se not. You know, it, it's more. But if you consider, for example, Kyber, that consumes a lot more gas, as well as, for example, I don't know, transactional compound will consume just for reference per se. You know, like this much or even even more, right? Two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand. You know, gas. So, I, I think the guys at the one inch exchange they actually did a pretty good job in terms of being able to do multiple swaps to the exchange and still keep the gas so low. Uh, but as I said, like it's probably a trade-off between how much you're swapping versus and, and saving with the lower slippage versus how much you're paying for the gas. So think about that when you when you want to do uh, when you're in a position where you want to do a swap. Maybe this is something to check out. And in terms of being an investor in Uniswap, I mean this is also using Uniswap as one of their liquidity providers uh, and pools. And so you know by using them, uh, you're also gonna essentially uh, provide and, 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 and contribute to the fees that goes to liquidity providers on the other side. So that's uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to tell you guys about one inch dot exchange. If you have any question, please free, feel free to reach out to me directly. By the way, in the tool, 
if you're using Uniswap or I, you're gonna find in different places of the tool, you're gonna just find a direct link to uh, chat to me on Telegram. So uh, you see it, for example, you know, if you check the pool section, uh, you'll see it here at the bottom on in different places, let's connect. So feel free to reach out directly if you have any question. And if you like content right, DeFi and exchanges and liquidity, uh, feel free to uh, uh, to subscribe. You're also helping other people to find the channel, find the content. So until next time, have a great one, guys. Stay safe and talk soon.